Today we are learning how to compare decimals to the thousands place using a place value chart. Let's say we are asked to compare 402 thousandths and 420 thousandths using the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol. The first thing I can do is set up or imagine a place value chart. Then I place each digit of the first number onto the place value chart. Next, I can do the same thing with the second number, placing it below the first number in the chart. I can make sure that the numbers are lined up properly by checking that the decimals are lined up. Yep, they are. Now, I'll start by comparing the numbers in the largest place value first, which is in the ones place. I can ask, are the digits in the ones place value the same or different? They are the same. Since they're the same, I can now look to the right at the next largest place value in the chart, which is the tens place. I see a four and a four. These digits also have the same value. So I look to the right to the hundreds place. In the hundreds place, I see a zero and a two. The two is different than the zero. Which is greater, zero or two? Two. So the number with the two in the hundreds place must be the bigger number. 420 thousandths is greater than 402 thousandths. Great. When I look back at my problem, I see that I need to compare these numbers with the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol. Since the 402 thousandths is less than 420 thousandths, I will place the less than symbol between the two numbers. I could also rewrite this using the greater than symbol by writing 420 thousandths is greater than 402 thousandths. Let's do one of these together now. Compare 312 thousandths and 32 thousandths using the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol. First, I'll set up a place value chart and start by putting each digit of the first number into the chart. Then, I'll take the second number and place each digit into the place value chart as well. I need to make sure that the decimals are lined up before I can go any farther. Yep, now I can start comparing. Which place value should I look at first to compare these numbers? Both of these numbers have a digit in the ones place, so I need to start there. Since zero and zero are the same, I move to the right to compare the digit in the tenths place. I see that three and zero are different. Which is greater, three or zero? This means that which number is larger? The number with the three in the tenths place, 312 thousandths, is greater than 32 thousandths. Which symbol should I use to show that 312 thousandths is greater than 32 thousandths? The greater than symbol. 312 thousandths is greater than 32 thousandths. You could also write this, 32 thousandths is less than 312 thousandths. Let's try another one. Compare 5 hundredths and 50 thousandths using the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol. Why is it important that I use a place value chart when comparing these numbers? By putting the numbers into the place value chart, this helps me compare digits in the same place value. After putting the numbers into the place value chart and making sure that the decimals are lined up, I can start comparing the numbers. I notice, though, that my top number is shorter than my other number. To keep things easy, I'm going to add a placeholder, zero, in my place value chart. I'm going to start comparing the digits in the largest place value, the ones place. I see that both of these numbers have a zero in the ones place. The zeros are equal in value. Which place value can I compare next? The tenths place. Again, both of these numbers have the same number, zero, in the tenths place. I move to the next largest place value, the hundredths place. Both of our numbers have a five in the hundredths place. I will need to compare the next place value. I remember I added a placeholder zero to my first number. It's important to note that a placeholder zero at the end of a decimal does not change its value. Let's compare the digits in the thousands place. They are both zero. That means that five hundredths and fifty thousandths are equal in value. What symbol will show that these decimals are equal to each other? The equal sign. I can put the equal sign symbol between these numbers to show how they compare. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Compare 777 thousandths and 707 thousandths using the less than, greater than, or equal to symbol. First, I can place the numbers in the place value chart and make sure that the decimals are lined up. Starting in the ones place, I see that they both have a, the digit zero. Since the zeros are equal in value, I'll move to the right and look to the tenths place. Both numbers have a seven in the tenths place. 
I can move to the hundreds place next. I see that one number has a seven in the hundreds place and the other has a zero. Seven is greater than zero, so seven hundred and seventy-seven thousandths is greater than seven hundred and seven thousandths. You can show this by writing that seven hundred and seventy-seven thousandths is greater than seven hundred and seven thousandths, or seven hundred and seven thousandths is less than seven hundred and seventy-seven thousandths. Now here's the last one. Compare nine and seventy-eight thousandths to nine and eighty-seven thousandths using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. I can stack the numbers in the place value chart and make sure that the decimals are lined up. I start in the ones place first. Both numbers have a nine in the ones place, so I move to the tenths place. Both numbers have a zero in the tenths place, so I move to the hundredths place. I see a seven and an eight. Eight is greater than seven, so the number with the eight in this place value is the greater number. Nine and eighty-seven thousandths is greater than nine and seventy-eight thousandths. I can use this symbol to compare them by writing nine and seventy-eight thousandths is less than nine and eighty-seven thousandths, or nine and eighty-seven thousandths is greater than nine and seventy-eight thousandths. Today we learned how to compare decimals to the thousands place using a place value chart.